All right, good morning. I'm just, I decided to do a little vlog to show everybody what my daily routine is like. And yeah, just give you guys a better sense of what I've been up to. I apologize if I look like I slept terribly last night just because for whatever reason. So I look awful, but it's a beautiful morning here. Super bright. Um, on my way to go help feed the goats. Um, yeah. My shirt is still wet from yesterday. I washed it and hung it out to dry. And my armpits are still soggy. So, off to a good start. Okay, so I got the food in my hand for the teenagers. These guys are all staring at me, hoping that I give the food to them. But this stuff goes to these other guys. There's the baby. I'll feed him after her, sorry. So this food is for these guys over here. Okay, so I got in, tricked them out, put their feeding trough on the ground, and then pull this bad boy up. This is for the females. And then come over here. Take this big bucket for the male to get past them. So, then give this to the male. And he eats by himself. But I have to watch these guys because they are very mean to each other. So usually if I stand here, they're less aggressive. But yeah, they they butt heads all the time. And sometimes they'll just go like and headbutt each other in the ribs. And I always like cringe because I can't feel good. But they do it every time. So clearly uh, they don't mind too much. Okay, so the next part is feeding the baby. First I have to bully my way in here. And then you get to chow down. These guys always try and get in through here. So I have to tie a little knot. See, got some noses sticking through. Anyway, this one right here is actually my favorite. I think her name is Corsa, if I remember correctly. But every time I feed the baby, she comes over and says hello. And I give her uh, muzzle rubs, scratch in between her horns. There you go. This is the most photogenic goat that we have right now. She's adorable. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? She said, just let me eat. So I'm gonna let her eat and then I'll get some cute videos for her afterwards, of course. Okay, so she's getting the last little bit of her food and now she's just head wetting me and licking me. So this is our little part of the daily routine where she tries to eat my Patagonia jacket. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Let's see if she's trying to do it right now if I let her go. Stop. See? <laughs> right away. She tries to munch on it. You're not allowed to do that. So anyway, I'll play with her for a little bit. And then... Then I, then I gotta go wait until they're done milking before I can do any of the other uh, responsibilities I have. But um, yeah, I'll try and show some of the milking process and get some footage with Nicolo. Bye. Bye.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that little, like, unscripted content um, of me filming Niccolo. So first he squeezes the nipples to clear out any blockages that may have formed during the night. And then afterwards, once he goes down the line, he puts on the suction cups and that does the majority of the milking. All I'm doing right now while I'm waiting is I'm going to give Portia here some extra alfalfa because she's my favorite. So I spoil her. So now we can make a little action shot. And it's gone. Oh, I have a little scrap left. Are you the most spoiled goat? Look at this. He loves the face scratches. See if I stop, watch. Okay, so now that most of the milking is done, comes the fun part where I have to scoop a bunch of straw into this wheelbarrow and then I cover a bunch of So, definitely the least glamorous part of my day. Um, I am a glamorized goat janitor. So, I basically walk around and I sprinkle straw. So I'll show you a little clip of what that looks like, I guess. Okay, so now that I'm in the stable, I basically take a handful of straw, find and cover it. And I do that for this whole thing. And it takes me about 40 minutes. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that goats a lot. So, especially when it rains and they're stuck in here all day, I have to cover a lot, of especially if these guys are eating the cereal grains left over. So that's no good. But yeah, I'm gonna skip the rest of this because it's incredibly boring. Okay, so I finished putting all the hay, as you can see. No shit. Um, and now the next step is filling this thing. So, and then filling this. And then filling this. With this. Okay, so all the beds are full. I had to rake all the stray straw that it spilled over the sides in this wheelbarrow. And now I'm officially done. So it's about 9.45. I started at about 7.45, so about two hours later, done with the morning shift. Okay, so I just got back from the morning stable session, and I'm back in my little house. I made an entryway area. Very cool. All my wet clothes are still drying. Got like a pseudo kitchen that I don't really use. Medication. Um, and then in here, we have this little like living room. This is my favorite room. So we have the wood stove. We have like this little couch. That's my reading nook. Of course, the chirp wheel, more wet clothes. Um, and then finally, the bedroom. So I have my bed right here. And then I have all my shit. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, it's not much, but honestly, it's really cozy, especially when it's been like wet and raining. Just pop on this bad boy and just chill on here and it's super nice. But now I'm gonna go into the dairy. I'll try and film in there, but my phone is obviously like not like clean. So I can't really take it out without having to wash my hands every time um, because you have to be really clean in there. So I'll try and get some footage when I can. Um, but yeah. I got to change my shirt because this one is full of hay and it feels like fiberglass. So I got to go. 
So I almost forgot breakfast. Got my yogurt with bananas and like popped farro. And I just kind of came up with this like one of the first days and I eat it every day now. Okay, so I'm in the cheese lab. I got a couple minutes where I'm by myself, so I'm gonna squeeze in a little bit of filming. Um, so basically all I'm doing right now is I got these cheeses and I just flip them over. So I've had to flip over a lot already. All of these shelves in here have all been flipped over. And you have to flip cheese every day because it's how the moisture leaves it. So then once you're done, I lift the shelf here, put it right here, make a new tower, and start flipping it again. Whoop. Whoop. And that's it. That's all I'm doing right now. Anyway, this is the rest of the lab. You got the thing to like make ricotta and boil the cheese. Washing station, sanitizing station. More teas. So, it's been a couple hours, um, and I ended up on the commune where Nicolo and Valentina met a number of years ago. And so I'm just poking around their garden. Got a lot of. Um, yeah. Just kind of seeing what's around. It's super cool. Um, if it isn't obvious, there's a huge overlap between communists and woofing. So there's a lot of establishments like this that accept woofers, where it's like very much built on communist ideologies. So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, pretty cool. We'll see if I'll film any other stuff that's really cool. It's very pretty though. Bunch of vegetables and hillside. So yeah, found a pretty cool portrait. I don't know if you can see that. It's like the city, the death factory, man. Just a little bit of green space. But the garden, look at that. Deep, man. All right, so we're back at the goat farm. Um, poked around the commune for a couple hours while Valentina and Niccolo hung out with their old friends. Um, right now I'm just trying to stay awake until the evening stable shift because I've been taking naps every day and it's messing up my sleep. So I'm just trying to make it through this afternoon lull. And yeah, then I'm going to go feed some more goats. So I got some help. Apparently Valentina and Nicola have a meeting, so they already did a bunch of the work. So just gotta feed the teenagers and the baby and then I'm done. And then I gotta do the alfalfa and then I'm done. And the goats are in a different place. Okay, I have to see what I'm supposed to do. As I'm making my way back through to the house, figure I'd show you around. This is a extra building where they have like an extra apartment up here. This is where they have the cheese workshops and this is extra equipment. This is a big shed. This little house on the right is Nicolo and Valentina's. And then right in here upstairs is where Amanda lives. In here is the shop and through to the cheese lab. And then in here, is the dining room where the tourists eat. This is the entrance. Up here is the entrance to Amanda's apartment. 
And then next to that is the entrance to the kitchen and the bathroom. And then we get to my little humble abode. And then another entrance to the cheese lab. And yeah, that's a little tour of the, of the space. Very green. Okay, so it's about 7.30. It's been about an hour since finished with the, the goats. Actually, probably a little more than that. And I've just been editing all the videos. And on my way to go make dinner, I'm going to actually show you guys around the apartment. Because I realized that I didn't show anything last time because my camera work was bad. So here's the extra bed with all my clothes. Little shelf. Another little shelf. This is my bed. Got a nice light. Then come through here. Now I'll bonk my head on this like I do every day. This is the space. This is my reading couch, wood stove, and then this is this room. So yeah, hopefully that gave you a little bit slightly better view of what it looks like. Now let's go make some dinner. All right, dinner is done and i'm gonna chow down and then probably take a shower and go to bed so i hope this video was kind of fun you could see what i do on an average day on podere le fornaci um and yeah i might make another video like this again it was kind of fun so we'll see what happens but anyway i hope you enjoyed bye